In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gallery of images. And typically you're going to start from any page that you're going to insert it into. We'll go ahead and go back there. So I have a new page and I'm going to add media. And I'm going to go into upload files. And I'm going to select files from my library, pictures, and then I have dogs. And so I can just click and select the images that I want to add. And so I've selected several images. I'm going to hit open and we give them a minute to load. Now you'll see that it's easy. You can also, if I'd chosen to drag images right into here, and then we have several options on the side here and I'm, going, I'm in create gallery and I can just leave checked the ones I want. This one I don't want so, but I could add or not add it. And if I, any of these, like this one's a little blurry, I may choose to deselect it. Hit create gallery and then hit create new gallery. Now we can caption each of these images. I can also choose to reverse order. And I should have edited these outside to turn them right side up, but we'll just name these Nessie, 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 Kitty, Nessie with a ball, Reggie, Nessie, I have a lot of pictures of Ness. And Nessie. Now I would have, I should go out and put these all right side up in Photoshop, but for right now I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And you'll notice I can reverse order and I can reorder the images. So if I wanted to have all of Nessie's pictures next to each other, it's not a problem. Move Reggie over to the end. Kitty over there. Nessie over here. And then they're all in order. And I can choose my number of columns. If I wanted to, I could do random order. And I can choose link to attachment page. The attachment page will come up when you click on them. And then I can choose Insert Gallery. And I can save and publish. And then I can go out to View Page. So again, I would have wanted to edit these. Now if I click on these, that will take me to the full page version. And it will let me move forward and back among these. Now what I really should do is go back out to my dashboard. all of my pages. And we'll edit the dogs page. And I can edit my gallery here. So these have images on them, but I should have gone into my media library, and for each one of these, I should have given them a more meaningful um, image name. Nessie 1, because these become your links to the next images.
And so now I should be able to close this, go back into my page, view page, and now this should take me Nessie 2, and that'll, reach, that'll change your links. So that's how you do that. So this is a simple, simple way to put in a gallery. We're going to get into some better ways with widgets that'll let you do light boxes and other things. But this is a simple way to put in a gallery that'll take you to full size, and then it'll have your image at the top. So that's how to insert a simple gallery. Um, we're going to get into much more fun, advanced galleries when we get into widgets.